This is my home screen, and easily one of my most asked questions is how, how did I make this? And so first of all, I just wanna give you guys a rundown of exactly what we have going on here. So I like to keep it pretty minimal. So I actually just have one screen. Like you don't swipe left or right. It's just this one screen. And then if you swipe up, you have your app drawer. And so on this screen at the top, I have this widget that tells me what day it is. I think it looks pretty cool. And then I have this nice little triangle design of the apps that I use all the time. And then of course I have my dock with my calling and texting and whatever. But then there is one more kind of secret cool thing on the home screen. So right here in the bottom middle, there's actually an invisible folder that holds a bunch of apps that I use like pretty often, but you know, not as often as like my main home screen app. So I'm gonna show you how I make all of this. Now, just to preface this, there are gonna be quite a few different things that you need to download. And we are going to be using a launcher, which don't get too scared. I know launchers can be kind of scary if you've never used them before. Like I was actually scared of using a launcher. like. I had known about them for a while, but I was just, I just never did it because I was like, that seems too complicated. But then I finally did it and I love it and it's how I use my home screen now, so it's worth it. I promise you. <laughs> now I'll have links to all of the different apps that you need to download in the description of this video, along with a couple other downloads that will be Google Drive links. So I'll have my wallpaper that you'll need to download through Google Drive and a, a backup file that you'll need to download, but we'll get to that shortly, so just, just stay tuned. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is download the Zwart icon pack. Now, again, I do have this linked in the description or it should pop up if you just search for Zwart in the Play Store. So just go ahead and download that. Don't worry about getting it set up or anything. Just literally download it, that's it. Then the next thing you're gonna do is download the KWGT Custom Widget Maker. Now this app is gonna be what enables us to edit this widget that I have on my home screen up here, but we're not gonna do that yet, so just stay tuned. Then the next app you're gonna need to get, which I, I apologize, I should have said this earlier, but this app does cost, uh, but it's worth it. I mean, you use your, ho your home screen every single day, so if you have to pay just a few dollars to make it look good, I mean, I personally think it's worth it, but this is the KWGT Pro Key. So what you just downloaded before this was the actual KWGT like app, but then the pro key is just basically buying the pro version so you can unlock additional features. And after you have those installed, you don't need to do anything again, not yet, just leave it as is. And next, we're gonna download the Acromatic KWGT app, which is essentially a widget pack, which is gonna go along with the KWGT pack. It's kind of confusing, but uh, it makes sense after you kind of like do it. <laughs> and after you have all of those apps installed, again, you don't need to do anything besides just install them. You're gonna download Nova Launcher. So this is the launcher that is gonna basically run everything, run our whole home screen. And now that Nova Launcher is installed, you are gonna go ahead and open this app. So go ahead, open it up, and it's gonna do one of two things. It's either gonna ask you to set it as your default launcher. If it does, just say yes. Otherwise, it should just bring you straight to the setup process for Nova Launcher. And in this setup, you're just gonna go through, you can like uncheck different things according to your preference. All I usually change is I uncheck DuckDuckGo because I don't really want that. Uh, but I mean, you can choose whatever you want. And once you have it all set, you'll scroll to the very bottom and you'll see an orange check on the bottom right and just hit the orange check. Now, if you're one of the people where it didn't already have you set it as your default launcher, you will have to go ahead and do that manually. So you're gonna go and find the Nova Launcher app and open it up. And when you do that, it should bring you inside of the launcher. So your home screen is gonna look a little bit different, but inside of this launcher, you're then gonna find the Nova settings app and open that up. Now, once inside at the top of your screen, you should see like a reddish orange thing that says that you need to set it as your default launcher because you haven't already. So just go ahead and tap that and then set it as your default launcher. And so now whenever you go to your home screen on your phone, it's gonna bring you to Nova Launcher instead of your regular home screen that you had before. And so now that we have our new Nova Launcher home screen, now we actually get to customize it. Now, typically to customize Nova Launcher, it's, it can take a little bit because there are a lot of settings that you can go through. So if you just wanna look through them, you can open the Nova Settings app 
and you're able to change like the icon size on the home screen. You can change like the padding of the icons. You can change the icon size of your app drawer. You can change the background color of your app drawer. Like there are so many settings that you can change. And I could go through all of this, the specific settings that I have set for my home screen, but they actually made a super easy way that you can literally duplicate my home screen onto your phone. And so if you scroll down to the description of this video, you're gonna see a Google Drive download link for my Nova Launcher backup file. And so you're just gonna download that, and when you open up that download, it's gonna ask you to restore that backup. So just hit yes. And so now it automatically copied all of the settings that I have in Nova Launcher onto your phone. And so this includes setting all your icons exactly how I have them, setting the size of the icons and the padding of the icons. It even automatically applied that Zwart icon pack to your icons, and it automatically created the invisible folder. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look exactly done yet, and that's because we do still have to manually add the wallpaper and the widget at the top. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and scroll down to the description of this video and there will be a Google Drive download link for my wallpaper. You're then gonna go back to the home screen and just long press and you'll see an option for wallpapers. Then you'll just find the wallpaper that you downloaded and go ahead and set the wallpaper. I'll go ahead and set it for both the home screen and the lock screen. And so now you can see the only thing that we're missing is that widget. So go ahead and tap on that widget placeholder and have it activate the widget. And then when you tap it again, it's gonna open the KWGT widget editor. Now you will have to go through a quick setup process, which does include selecting a folder to store all of the KWGT files. So what I did is I just created a new folder and I just named it custom because that's like the name of the app. That's what K and KWGT stands for. And then now I have my folder selected. And now that we finished setting up this app, it actually brought us into the widget editor. And basically the way that this widget thing works, I know we had to install three apps for this widget. So you have the actual widget editor, which is the KWGT app. Then you have the KWGT Pro Key, which is essentially the pro version unlocking more features. And then you have the Acromatic widget pack, which is installed into KWGT. So it's hopefully that makes sense. You're basically using the widgets from Acromatic and using them in the KWGT widget editor. Now inside of KWGT, you're automatically gonna see that Acromatic widget pack. So go ahead and tap on that and you can actually choose between a whole variety of different widgets. Now you can obviously choose whichever widget you want, but the one that I use is called BW12. And so go ahead and tap on that. And then when you go to your home screen, you'll see that the widget is now there. And now we're pretty much done, except that the widget is kind of small compared to how I personally have it on mine. So that's what the KWGT widget editor is actually for. You can edit the widget to be however you want. So go ahead and tap the widget and it'll bring you into the editor. And all I change on this is the size and the position of the widget. Now for the size, you're gonna go to the layer tab and change the scale. Now for me personally, I have it set to 100, but you can obviously change the size to whatever you like the best, but I have mine at 100. Then for the position, you don't have to do this, but this widget is centered on the entire widget. So even that like little decorative thing on the side is part of the widget. And so the whole thing is centered. So the actual like, Thursday text is a little bit offset to the right because the whole thing is centered. I don't know if that made sense, but I personally like the word Thursday to be centered. And so that little decorative piece is kind of like off to the left side. So to change that, we're gonna go to items and then tap stack group and then tap stack group again. And then if you go to the position tab, you can change the position. Now what I did is kind of just eyeballed it and saw what looked like was centered. It's not like an exact measurement or anything, but I set the R padding to 75. And so when you do that and you hit the save button at the top right, and then you go home, it should look exactly how I have it. Now it might vary based on your screen size. I'm not really sure. Uh, so you might need to adjust it a little bit to compensate. Uh, but this is now exactly how I have my home screen. Now I figure there will be a couple of questions that you guys may have. The first of which 
is why are some of the icons gray and some of them black? And the answer to that is because if the icons are gray, that just means that you don't have the app. It's just a placeholder for when or if you get that app. And so if you actually tap on one of the gray icons, it'll actually redirect you to search for that app and then it'll open up the Play Store and if it finds the app, then you can just go ahead and download it and it'll fill the placeholder. And the other question people might have is, well, I see that I have an invisible folder, which is cool, but how in the world do I actually make that? And it's, uh, it's pretty cool, so let me show you. So first you're gonna go down to the description and download one last thing, which is a Google Drive link to a transparent PNG file. Then what you're gonna do is bring two apps together. You know, you can go down to your app drawer, drag them up to the home screen and bring them together to make a folder just like normal. And then you're gonna long press on that folder and hit edit. And now you can see on the top left, there is the little icon for the folder. So just tap that and then it'll open up a menu so you can choose an image to set as the folder icon. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to gallery apps and then choose my gallery. And now I see that transparent image in the gallery. So I'll select that. And then I will select the check mark on the top right to confirm it. And now when I go home, the folder is invisible. You can't see it, but it is still there. So it's, a, it's pretty cool. I think it helps make the home screen look very neat and clean, but still gives you the utility of having, you know, a folder there, which is cool. But anyways, that was how I created my home screen. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, feel free to leave a like. If it wasn't, feel free to leave a like anyways.